had to restart this video. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> I just woke up. Uh, like, literally. But, don't even think about it, cats. You're about to fight. Okay, so, I had a really weird dream, and I kept going to sleep, and if I feel like if I put it off any longer, I'm going to forget all of it. And I'm trying to retain it. But, every time I got woken up, like, a million times by my alarm, because I'm supposed to be doing something else right now, <laughs> um, I, uh, was like, shit, I went back to sleep to finish it, you know? And, okay, first of all, I know there was three girls, me and two others. Um, one, I think, I don't know, I can't even remember what they look like anymore, this sucks. Um, but anyway, we had, like, weird powers. God, if I could remember this whole dream, it would be so cool, because it was so long and so awesome, but, um, like, mine was more to do with, like, I don't know, like, mind and, like, thinking strategies and stuff, I know, I never get the really cool powers, I mean, like, okay, the three of us, like, one of us had, like, some weird telekinetic powers, and we all had, like, telepathic powers, but, um, and then the other one had, like, destructionist, like, powers, like, could, I don't know, make things, like, explode, even though telekinesis is kind of the same thing, but I'm trying to remember, I can't specifically remember everything, that's what sucks, I should have done this, like, laying down in bed, <laughs> Like, sideways, just talking. Um, but, um, I wanted to wash my face. Jeez. So, which you can't even see right now, because that's a life lesson, I don't know. But anyway, um, so, there was three of us, and we were at a school. And it was a weird-ass school. Let me tell you that. I don't know why I have problems with schools in my dreams, but, so, it was like, there was this school, and there was like, um, there was this teacher, and he looked like a combination, oh shit, I had it earlier, I remembered him so perfectly in my head, um, He looked like a combination of, like, Jesus Christ. I don't remember. And now every time I blink, I see, like, weird white flashes of light. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but, I don't know. He had, like, dark hair. And he was, like, supposedly, like, super handsome. You know? <laughs> and so, anyway, he was, like, a young teacher. And... So, I was like, I don't know, I had a crush on him or whatever, and we had weird classes, like, we had a swimming class where, like, obviously, like, we had, like, weird superpowers, so everyone knew about it. I mean, it wasn't, like, any mistake, and then, for some reason, I always have a horse, but this guy taught, like, um... I don't know. He taught, like, I think, like, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm out of the dark. Um, <clears throat> he taught, like, swimming and, um, what was it? It was, like, some weird, like, education, <laughs> educational type shit. No, um, it was... Like, you know, classes on, like, how to behave? What are they called? Like, etiquette classes. Like, something like that. Except, I don't know why a dude was teaching it. And he was definitely had no etiquette. Because he had a secret. And me, being, like, the strategist person of our group, was, like, 
slowly I was like figuring this guy out. I was like, I'm getting you figured out. I was like, you might be hot, but I know you got something going on. And I was like, God, what was there, a book? I'm trying to think so hard for you guys because it was such a cool dream at the end and I'm not going to be able to lay this out. It's going to sound so bad, but maybe if I play this back to myself later, maybe I'll be able to remember it. Like, um, cause I have to go do something that's really early right now, but whenever I get back, maybe as I think while I'm driving, you know, I'll like get some insight. But, um, anyway, so, he was like, we had lockers, and I remember, I had a horse, <laughs> this just keeps getting out of control, I'm sorry, but I had a horse, and I was, like, trying to feed my horse, like, this hay, just, like, in this freaking one video I think I told you guys about, I always have a damn horse, I don't know why, but I also had a dolphin, because those are, I love whales. I mean, I'm not really a fan of dolphins. I like dolphins, but I like whales. But, um, I like horses and whales. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> um, and cats, obviously. But I was, like, trying to feed my horse. And he would always use me as an example of, like, like, he was smart in his own, in, like, an evil way, you know? Like, I was, like, a strategist type of person, you know? And I had my strategies for everything. But he was, like, one of those, like, psychopaths that could, like, you know, just convince everyone that, like, somebody else is wrong in a way. I don't know. But slowly, and especially because I was, like... I think I was younger, obviously, than I am, uh, in the dream, and, because I didn't have, like, any control in this dream, it was just me watching it play out, <laughs> but, um, he, like, started, like, hitting on me, of course, this is what happened in my other dreams, I don't know, it's not a fantasy of mine, I don't have any of those hot for teacher fantasies, like, I really don't. Like, I don't even think of school, ever. I don't. Like, I don't know why. Like, I have dreams about them. Like, I'm, I don't watch anything about schools, either. A lot of the stuff I watch is about, like, serial killers. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, he was, like, kept hitting on me in weird ways, but he's also, like, mean to me. Kind of like men in real life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... But, so, guys, chill out. It's so early. Um, so, I was like, I don't know. He's kind of a dick, you know? I don't think that, I don't think that I want to deal with this, you know? It's bullshit. And then, like, you know, he's all attractive and whatnot. And I'd be like, well... Maybe I do, <laughs> but, um, so, I don't know, I forget, I remember there was, like, a notebook in a locker, it was his notebook, and I found it in an old locker they could never find the key for, because, like, I don't know, it was simple for me to pick locks, I don't understand why the school couldn't, like, get the locker open, but whatever. It was his old locker, and I was, like, just interested in finding out what was in this one locker that nobody knew. So, just one day, just for fun, I picked the lock. And it was, like, his old, like, from a he when he went to school there. And his was talking about, it was, like, a journal. And for some reason, this is how I, like, you know how you know you're dreaming, but you still can't, like, get out of it, you know? Um, like, mine was, like... Like, the language, like, he wrote in was, like, an alien language, you know? Like, weird squiggles and shit. And so, like, it's weird. But you're still just stuck watching the whole thing, kind of. And being the star of it, which is weird. But, um, 
So we kept having our swimming classes and for some reason like me and my two girlfriends could like, sorry, could like turn into like different things on our own kind of. Like I could like swim kind of like a mermaid. Um, of course I had the shittiest power of them all. I do like every time. Um, my the one could like grow wings and fly um and the other one so that means i could hold my breath underwater for like ever and the one could fly and the other one i think was just like indestructible and super powerful you know like the strong girl type thing but um so we something was going on and i this is what i wish i could remember now the journal of the guy that i mentioned um he was like i really need to be getting ready well no he didn't say that <laughs> he probably would be because he was a freaking weirdo but anyway um he was like i don't know he reminded me kind of like Freddie Prince Jr. like way back in the day combined with like I don't know what's that blonde oh that blonde boy from American Horror Story I don't know somehow stuffed those two into one person that's what he looked like I think it was weird but um anyway so his journal was about how he had a teacher and his teacher taught like etiquette class but it was for boys the I guess boys and girls had separate classes but we didn't have like separate teachers I don't know why but um so she was just like uh or he was just like his teacher was a guy <laughs> and um he was talking about how why is my teacher so mean to me at the beginning and I was just like really really dude but then it was like and he's also like kind of hitting on me and then I was just like <sighs> God. but um so my character person was just like what kind of a retard is doing the same things that his teacher did to him that he'd hated to somebody else you know like, you can't just use your attractiveness like that, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my <laughs> my massive amount of pimples I have right here. Like, Jesus Christ. I got breaking out for Christmas. But, um, anyway. So, um, I was like, I know I was in a swimming class and they were like, They'd always just come get me at the end. They'd, like, smack on the water. Because I'd just be, like, down at the bottom of the pool, like, just doing some weird shit. Like, it's, as usual. Like, <laughs> like, um, but they would smack on the water, and then I'd come up. And so, like, everyone knew we had these powers, right? And then we lived in this, like, semi-futuristic city, but, like, everything was made of, like, stone. There weren't really any wood-type buildings, but it still, I don't know, it kind of just looked like, like, Pittsburgh. I mean, I've seen, like, Baltimore, I've seen Florida, you know, but, I don't know, for some reason, ow, I bit my tongue. <laughs> Ouch. For some reason, that reminded me of Pittsburgh. And, ahem, <clears throat> tastes like blood. <laughs> and, um, so, um, like when I would look out the window, but the window was made of like this weird plexiglass shit. I don't know. But anyway, I wish I could remember what happened because the whole thing was so complex and now I can't remember jack shit of it because I got woken up 17 times by my alarm and <laughs> like that I set myself.
God, the audacity. And then, um, I, like, every time I go back into it, but I forget some of what was going on, but then it would continue. But some thing happened where, like, people were trying to, like, um, we were trying to fight, like, some kind of, like, alien race, right? And, like, most of our schoolmates get killed because shit explodes. Like, me and the other two girls would, like, put on, like, shows all the time, you know? Because, like, I could do, like, gymnastics and stuff, too. And, like, you know, like, we do all kinds of, like, just crazy stuff. And, um, in the school, like, auditorium, which also had a, I guess for me, a swimming pool as, like, a track instead of a actual track because I could, like, do crazy, like, stuff in the water and the other person would do crazy shit in the air and I don't know. It was just weird acrobatic stuff. Like, we just do it for fun and because we were just bored, I guess. And so, so we were, like, doing all this stuff and shit. It's been 16 minutes already. I'm so sorry. But anyway doing all this stuff, and so everything exploded, all the stands, all of our friends, that, I don't know if we really had friends, <laughs> but they all died, and not all of them, some, like, people were still alive in the city, but we saw the buildings burning, people running everywhere, we're trying to save people, this and that, do, like, our hero thing, and then, um, and then along the way, we co we come across the teacher guy, you know, and he's like, oh, save me, you know, I'm older than you, and, you know, I'm d doing some weird t twisted teacher things, but save my life. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know how to sound any other way, but like an old man. Um, but, um... So we save him, and we bring him with us, because I was like, yeah, I'm saving him, but <laughs> mad at myself now. Well, we should save him anyway, whatever. But so we, um, so I was like, listen, you guys, I have this theory. Like, everything's on fire. The city's on fire. Uh, there's, like, some kind of, like, we don't know who it is. Like, a it looks like aliens to us like, attacking us, like, they want to kill us, obviously, every one of us, and I was like, they do not know about us, hold on, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> this hand was, like, all curled up and kind of sweaty, but, um, so, I was like, they do not know about us, and I was like, let's do our thing, you know, and so we're like, fighting off some of the stuff, you know, like, kicking some ass, like, taking down, like, strong girls, like, throwing shit at the airships, and they're exploding, and, like, a lot of stuff is on fire, so we're trying to escape with this one guy, I don't know why we aren't saving more people, but he's just following us at this point, because <laughs> he's like, my best chance is if I follow these people, which is kind of smart, if you're an asshole, or just a regular person, <laughs> if there's really strong people around, your best chance is probably to be around them, because they'll try to save you, but also, that's where the action is, so, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm not so smart, but, um, so, I was just like, I'm only saving you, because, you know, you've been nicer to me, <laughs> It's so fucked up. Is that how men work? I don't know. I'm sorry, men out there. But, um, that's how they're always like, yeah, if you're, like, mean to a girl, she totally likes it. But I totally hated it. But then when he got nice, I was like, oh, oh my. <laughs> but, um, so I was, like, helping save him. And I was like, we need to get to the water if you're going to chill with me. Because I'm like, water-based, you know, so, plus, they're not attacking the water, they're lighting everything else on fire, but they're not attacking anything on the water, no ships, nothing, so I was like, I can, like, try and throw some, like, ships at them, you know, I can, like, at their ships, at their sh space, they're flying ships, and I'm throwing water ships, but, um, 
So I was like, yeah, we need to get this shit done. <laughs> I need to get this shit done because I need to leave. But so the other girl with the wings, I think she's just like out there like doing her thing. But anyway, so finally we're losing. And I was like, we can't do this. There's just three of us. And there's like a bunch of these guys. And everyone else is like, yeah, and we're tired. And, and then, of course, the stupid asshole guys, like, really? Like, you're just going to give up? Like, everyone, look at all the burning buildings and the people jumping out the windows because they're on fire. And we're just like, oh, you're right. And we were like, we need to get to the top of the highest building right now. And we were like, we don't know which one it is because we're just schoolgirls. And he was like, it's that one and we're like that is tall let's go so we get there and we're like all the way at the top for some reason this one isn't on fire yet all the other tall ones are but we were like all right I was like I have this theory if we can each transform and we have these like weird elements to us I was like we're basically gonna run into each other from the four corners of the top of this building well, there's only three of us, but the three corners of the top of this building and smack into each other super duper hard as we transform into our three things. And I was like, I am going to try to turn us into like a dragon. And I was like, we need to work on this. I was like, you need to work on like imagining like your wings are like just not on you. I was like, I need to work on imagining I have like a big, strong, like powerful tail to like smack into shit. And I was like, make sure your wings are, like, gigantic as fuck. And then the other, I was like, try to just keep everything you can together, like, with all of us meshed. But let's not, like, be some gruesome monster. <laughs> like, let's, we need to handle this shit now. And we're like, alright, because we gotta take down, like, the mothership, you know. And so, we all run into each other from three corners of the top the roof I forgot what it's called the roof and they we turned into some kind of weird dragon thing and it was like it was half it was more than half of my heart's desire because it was like dragony but it was also kind of like aqua-ish in a weird way like it could definitely be like an underwater dragon thing that can like swim using its wings and it was like an all fours like feet type dragon like not like a dinosaur standy uppy one like but one that's like on all fours so we had long arms we could throw stuff um one girl still had her telekinetic abilities as a dragon which she would use to like get we collected like a bunch of um stuff that could start fires, like propane tanks, stuff like that, you know, pick up oil trucks and, like, throw them at the spaceships and stuff. And just, like, you know, what's that one guy? Michael Bay. <laughs> just, just like Michael Bay. Just like it. I promise. <laughs> and, um, but better. So, because it was dragons. So, Game of Thrones meets Michael Bay in Pittsburgh. That was my dream. <laughs> I don't know how it ended. I'm sorry. And I do have to go. But if I remember the whole thing, then I'll try and tell you. Nobody wants to hear it all. I'm sure they don't. You probably don't even want to hear this. You probably aren't even still here. But if you are still here, then I love you and I appreciate it because I did take the time out of my day, which I should be getting ready and now I'm not going to be able to. I'm just going to brush my teeth and leave. But whatever, you know, it happens. And, um, I just appreciate ya. So I will see you next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And smoochy doochies. Goodbye.